Hi guys, welcome to another episode of 2HungryDaniels.com. It's Peter here. And Oni. So today we're gonna take you to a journey of tasting five different burgers in Melbourne. Yeah, five best burgers. So for first stop, we're going to 8-Bit. 8 8-Bit. 8 it's called 8-Bit Burgers. This is right in the middle of uh, Melbourne CBD, so it's very close to everything. Yeah. Uh, the location is very strategic, so let's find out. Hi guys, we are now at 8 Bit. So basically, we order a basic one, which is the beef burger uh, with the chips. So that's what we're gonna compare in our video, just the basic beef burger with the chips. So we can tell you like if this is like worth the money, which one has the best patty, which one has the best chip, best bun. the best bun as well. Uh, so yeah, let's find out. We just got our burger here. This is the beef burger, eight meat burger. Presentation-wise, it looks uh, very inviting. It looks like, like a big burger. Handful size burgers and the bun is very shiny with the sesame seeds on top. So yeah, I'm pretty hungry at the moment, so I can't wait to have it. The size is really perfect. The cheese is melted on top of the beef patty. They have like a tomato, slice of tomatoes, um, maybe jalapeno cheese. as well. Is that... uh, not, not jalapeno. This is the beef roll. So this is really like a basic, basic beef burgers. burger. So it should be really good. So I think the, the dry part is around the edges, like okay. in the middle it's still very, very, very juicy. <laughs> uh, I think it will need a little bit more seasoning, like salt or like. I try to get the, the beef patty, the bun, the tomato, the pickle at the same time. I don't get the pickle, so I might just pick up the pickle. Mm. It's well seasoned. You put the salt on top of it. I think they coat it with the salt as well. Uh, they also give a little bit of a small cup of tomato sauce. Okay. Yeah, but what do you think about the chips? The chip is good. It's not. It's not soggy at all. Um, I still have like a little bit of crunch to it. So overall, what do you think? Should we start with chips first? <laughs> it's five dollars, I think, chips, and the burger is ten dollars and fifty cents. Right. I'm gonna give the chips maybe a nine out of ten. <laughs> it's well seasoned. It's really crunchy. It's not so ghetto. Yeah. The size is decent, I think. For this is small cup. <laughs> Regular cup, so I'm gonna give a nine for the chips. Um, tomato the sauce burger. is a plus <laughs> for the burger. I can say maybe this time seven. seven. Last time when we had the when we had the same thing, I think it's better. Better, Simply yeah. Better, but we we'll give it seven at this time. So for me, uh, the beef patty is juicy, but need a little bit of salt. I so. also like the bun. This is not the... This is not brioche bun. Not brioche yeah. bun. It's a normal bun, but it's still excellent for me. Yeah. So I might really give it an 8. Probably it's an 8. I'm gonna give it a 7. Okay. Because... <laughs> Maybe 7 and a half. <laughs> I like a bit more seasoning. Okay. So we are at the second locations now. It's called Betty Burger and Concrete. Oh. This Betty's Burger is located at the corner of Elizabeth and Collins Street uh, in Melbourne CBD. Yep. So it's very close to tram stops. In fact, it's actually like the tram is stopping in, right in front of us. The location-wise is really convenient. 
and the restaurant itself is big. It's um, it's really modern, I think, the decorations and stuff. Uh, the seating is is not that bad as well. So they have like a lot of seatings. Uh, we never tried this burger before, so hopefully this is like a good place to eat burger. Yep. <laughs> so we ordered the beef burger along with the fries and the special sauce. So this is actually Betty's burger. This is the their standard beef burgers, special beef burgers. First impression, it looks like they have a lot of put a lot of lettuce here. It's like an oversize of lettuce. You can see the beef patty here, a little bit of onion and cheese. Sadly, they don't provide pickles. You need to pay extra for the pickles, so it's a little bit of upsetting, yeah, disappointing. The price is generous, I think, in my opinion. For five dollars, you get a, like a whole bucket. This is like a long string fries. Mm. The bun is is really buttery. Beef patty is juicy. Um, to me, the first bite is amazing. The first bite is like a really punchy as well. Like, yeah. ooh, it's like a really good burger. Yeah. Although we have the, the first bite, we, we get the, like, the outer side of the beef patty. It's not, it's it's not, not dry. It's not dry at all. It's just yeah. juicy. Second bite. Really, but really rich, really buttery rich. Let's try with the sauce. This is the very special sauce. Ooh, I'm gonna get like a lot of scoop of the sauce. Put this down and then try the sauce. I think it's honey mustard mayo sauce. Yeah, I agree. Honey mustard, what do you think? So I'm gonna rate this one is maybe a nine and a half. Still too generous because there's no pickle, and we need to pay extra five dollars for pickles and bacon. True, true, true. So maybe I'm just gonna give it an eight and a half, maybe. Um, okay, I agree with that. The fries itself, five dollars for a bucket of fries. Um, I'm gonna say a nine as well. It's a nine, so the, the the price is crunchy, is well seasoned, is not soggy at all. Yeah, it's it's a good it's a good bucket of fries. So yeah, I would I would recommend this burger place, it's Betty's and Concrete. We are now at Haksa Burger. It is located uh, in the middle of the city, uh, near the Flinders Lane. Yeah, we tried Haksa Burger before. It's really good. Portion is okay. I think uh, compared to the other burger, I think it's smaller, but still good enough. I mean, the, in terms of the taste and the, uh, the bun. They use the brioche bun. And yeah, we are just waiting for our burger to come. So what we order is the Haksa burger, so the original beef burger from Haksa. This is our burger. First impression, I think it's quite big. From my memory, I think it used to be quite smaller. I agree. Right? Yeah. So I think it's getting bigger now, yeah. which is good, right? Maybe Meaning they... that we get more burgers like with the same price. I Maybe a lot of people complain. Maybe. I am a little bit disappointed with the shape of the bun. This is not a great shape. Uh, Someone like pressed the bun. Yeah, it's <laughs> like from McDonald's. <laughs> so they have lettuce, uh, mayo, uh, tomato, melted cheese. I think two different type of cheese. The the one at the top is the more yellowy. Oh, maybe this is the no, cheese. This is the mustard sauce. Mustard. So mustard sauce. Okay, sorry. This is mustard mustard sauce and the, the cheese and the beef patty, and then some of the tomato sauce at the bottom. Okay, let me. Take a first bite. Mm. 
taste-wise, it's still the same that we already had before. The patty is juicy. It's not dry, which is good. I don't think they have pickles in here, which is disappointing. I, I, I was kind of hoping to get... They put some pickles, but the taste is okay. It's not okay, it's good. Good enough. I think for the price, $10.50. The beef patty is juicy, the bun is mm, average, I don't know why it's like so thin today <laughs> But everything else is, is, is good I mean it's, it's basic but it's, it's good Now let's try the chips Mmm, it's very crunchy They put some salt, which is good, not too salty. It's really crunchy. I don't know if you guys can hear, hear that. It's super crunchy. Mm. So, final verdict? Final verdict? What's the I, score? My favorite is the chips, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a 7. Like, I don't like the bun at all. I don't know, it doesn't have a volume. Yeah, doesn't have doesn't have a volume, but the beef patty and everything else is spot on. And I also noticed the beef patty; it's a bit thin. Ah. The chips, I'm gonna give it a ten, maybe. It's really crunchy. We've been sitting here for quite a while, but it's still crunchy. It's a bit windy as well, but it's super crunchy after a couple of minutes. Mm. So, what about the burger? Do you wanna give it a, a score? No, oh, same seven. Chips? 10 <laughs> The next up on our list is the Mr. Burger So Mr. Burger is is very popular. It's one of the first burger joint in Melbourne. So it's opened up in 2012. Um, so yeah, we ordered the beef burger here. It's very nice, very very small, very compact. And this is the chips, and they have the they give us the tomato sauce. Yeah, presentation wise is is good. They have the beef patty, the pickles, uh, the lettuce here, the tomato sauce and also the cheese the patty is a bit dry though but there is this special sauce that's quite different I think um, it has like a little bit of like peppery, peppery taste I think but everything else is spot on the bun is it's soft, it's okay. It's, it's nothing like a brioche bun, so it's not buttery at all. But I like it. The original Mr. Burger with the beef patty. The patty is very thick. I think you're right, it's still like a bit pinky in the inside and I agree as well, the outside is a little bit dry You can taste a little bit of, you know, like when you taste BB meat Quite strong It's still a little bit strong for me So maybe this is not my favorite because of the smell <laughs> and the taste of the BB taste Let me try the chips I get the, this this piece of chips that's quite salty. <laughs> Can't complain with this kind of chips like this. Still crunchy, golden brown, salty, perfect for the burger. The final verdict, what do you reckon? I um, uh, have to give it five. But this is purely my opinion. It's not his opinion or other people's opinion. Purely my opinion, five because of the smell, strong smell of beef. 
And the chips is uh, maybe eight. I'm gonna give it a seven because everything else is quite spot on, like the pickle. Uh, the beef patty, the tomato, the sauce, the cheese is quite spot on, but the bun is is quite it's quite ordinary. There's nothing special about it. Um, the beef patty on the outside is a bit dry. On the inside is is actually still pink, so it's just quite good. The chips is okay. I'm gonna give it a nine actually. It's, it's not the most crunchiest as I mentioned before, but it's good. It's good seasoning. It has a little bit of uh, of, I don't know like special seasoning I think not just salt but again it's not the crunchiest so nine for the chips so guys our next stop for the best burger in Melbourne is Andrews burger so this is the original location of Andrews burger which is in South Melbourne Andrews burger has been around for a long time I think it's one of the oldest burger joint in Melbourne but if you're wondering why we dress like quite differently um, for this burger tasting today, it's, it's because, because uh, we just attended a wedding wedding ceremony uh, yeah. in, uh, at the church near South Melbourne area. Yeah. So that's why we look a little bit like Polish today. So guys, we just got our uh, burgers. So this is the uh, standard beef burger. So we asked for extra cheese and we also order extra side chips the, this is the medium ones which is quite big and you can see like lots they put a lot of um, chicken salt on top yep inside they, they wrap it with the white paper and let's just open it Ooh, size is very generous so presentation wise is Quite classic, I think. Yeah, it's really okay. classic. The bun looks a bit dry. It's not like shiny bun. But overall, it's good. Like it's it's, it's still rounded. It's still puffy, and then there's a semi seeds on top. Let's see what's inside here. Tomatoes, cabbage. Yeah, they don't they don't use pickles for the standard burger, and they don't put what else like mayo or something. It's pretty standard. Let's just take a first bite. The beef patty is uh, juicy, a little bit dry on, on the outside, but not too dry. It's well seasoned with uh, salt and pepper as well. I quite like it actually. Maybe this the beef patty is one of my favorites so far. Another bite. Tomato is fresh, as well as the cabbage. The thing I noticed with this burger is it's a little bit on the dry side compared to the other burgers which is like they put lots of sauce and because the other burgers they put a lot of, of a lot of sauces sometimes the the bun becomes soggy but this one like not soggy at all that's that's actually the the pros of this this burger I don't quite like the bun actually, it's really dry. I mean, it's not, it's not buttery at all. The beef patty itself is well seasoned. It's moist, it's juicy. And I'm not quite sure about the cabbage though. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of cabbage on the burger. Everything else seems to be working okay. So now I'm going to try the chips. Daddy. The chips is all right. Like it's just a regular chip that you can actually find in like a you know like a car or chicken type of chips. Yeah, nothing special about the chip. Special thing is they put a lot of uh, chicken salt. So I think um, I'm going to rate this burger seven out of out out of ten. Um, the thing that I don't like is they put the cabbage and the bun is quite dry. But the taste wise of the patty is, I think it's one of the best. Yeah. If you have this like 10 years ago, you could be like, wow, oh, this is the best burger in Melbourne. Yeah. But as of today, there are a lot of burger shops around, like a lot of competition selling good burgers. So, not sure if this is one of the top for Melbourne. Probably not. Yeah, probably no. not. 
this time around. <laughs> but the chips yes. is quite good. I'm gonna give the chips an eight, maybe. For me, it's a seven. They put a lot of chicken salt on top, so it's quite. I don't know. I, I mean, it's a big plus for me. Plus, but also minus for me because it's kind of cheated. Yeah. <laughs> you, you put a lot of chicken salt. Like chicken salt. <laughs> So yeah, but uh, that's, a, that's a verdict guys for the Andrews burger. So we're just gonna um, crunch up the numbers and come back with the final review of top 5 burgers in Melbourne. Here we have review 5 top burger places in Melbourne. We have a clear winner I think in our opinion. So the winner is according to 200 diners is... Betty's Burger! So I think Betty's is, is very good out of the five so I think, it's, I think the best the best out yeah, of the, five the burgers, best out of five uh, in terms of what value value presentation taste, the taste uh, and surface what else the restaurant itself the location the as location well location is very convenient right in the middle of the city yeah what else like i don't know like when you have the first bite of Betty's burger it's just like Oh, the the bun is so soft, yeah. so buttery. The beef patty is so juicy yeah, as well. You'll have a, like a burger moment. <laughs> In terms of value, we're gonna pick the uh, Andrews burger. Andrews burger. So. Um, I think Andrews like represent a good value in terms of burger because the size is so generous for ten dollars you have like this massive massive burger yeah the chief size is very generous as well yeah it's very old school burger like really really humble burger something that you will find like ten years ago same burger yes yeah. the the, the patty is juicy as well yeah, like yeah. there's so I, many so so many I things agree. I yeah. think that's the best beef patty. Uh, yeah, compare the other, other one. Burger. That's it for, for this review guys. So don't forget to subscribe. Um, subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel. And help this channel grow as well so we can post more videos like this. And, and if you like any comment, feedback, don't forget to put your comment below. And maybe you can tell us like what's your best burger in Melbourne as yeah, well. According to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> And if you dare enough, please click that notification button so when we post a new video, you always get notifications of our latest video. So that's it for, for this review, for this episode. Um, and see you guys again in the next episode of Two Hungry Donors. And as always, stay foolish, stay, stay hungry. hungry.